Hello my beautiful friends, it's Mimi here today and you may be wondering where I am today. I'm in south of France, we arrived here yesterday and I realized I still haven't filmed my June favorites. So I'm super excited to share them with you. I've missed you guys so, so much. So yeah, some really exciting stuff I have to share with you today. So if you want to know what the June favorites are, then keep on watching. The first favorite item I'm going to share with you of the month is a bit unusual item, but it's something that I truly believe every single human being should have. And it is a pair of orange glasses gonna put them on oh my god honestly when you put it on it's like the whole world looks so different but what these are this is not a new fashion accessory I promise so what these orange glasses do basically block the uh, blue light that comes from any kind of light so if you go into supermarket and there's bright lights or if you're looking to your phone if you're looking to your computer basically most of technology emits blue light and the thing with blue light is that it's actually good for you during the daytime for example the, the real sun emits a lot of blue light and actually what makes us happy if you're not surrounded by blue light every single day if you're not exposed to it you will go depressed so blue light is important but during the day and now because we use so much technology in our day plus bright lights if you go into restaurants or supermarkets what being exposed to these blue lights sends to your brain is a very powerful message which says that it's daytime and sort of your brain and body gets confused and it can literally screw up with your sleep and many other things so for that reason when we first got the monitor we didn't have these glasses and Alex would be the one responsible to watch Alex on the monitor and then Alex usually falls asleep within like a few seconds when he hits the pillow literally he's like good night and he's sleeping but he couldn't fall asleep and he's like this is really strange it must be the blue light from the monitor because if you have a baby's monitor you would know that they are so bright and literally you can see the blue light like really shining bright from the monitor so once we got these glasses we truly saw the difference and for me it was really the biggest test was this past week because Alex was away in Toronto so I was the one responsible watching Alexa on the monitor and the first two days I didn't use the glasses and literally I was in bed for about an hour and a half to two hours and I just couldn't fall asleep after looking at the monitor so then I started using the glasses and I was much much better the reason these glasses are important to all of you regardless of whether you have a baby and a baby monitor or not is because a lot of us at night do the same thing by staring into our phones or laptops or by going to a supermarket with really bright lights and really interrupting our sleep because what blue light does is screws up with your circadian rhythm it screws up with your hormones honestly just read on this I'm probably gonna link something down below for you guys to do a little more research but truly truly life-changing if you just get these glasses and wear them every evening I know it's not the most stylish accessory but it does make a big difference for your health so definitely my most favorite item this month get these glasses funny enough I have another orange item in our favorites this month and this is an Avalon organics intense defense with vitamin C serum so this is basically a really nice serum that you apply to your face twice a day morning and evening before you apply your moisturizer and guys this smells so 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 delicious I think that's probably the reason why I love it so much is like I'm gonna just squeeze it out a little bit to show you the consistency so it is a serum so it's, it goes on very very light and it smells like a chocolate like an orange chocolate I absolutely love orange chocolate so I honestly look forward to the night and the morning I actually forget to put it in the morning sometimes but I always remember to put it on at night because I just look forward to this pampering feeling when I put it on and as I put it on I just feel my skin sort of tightening feeling a lot smoother and a lot more silkier so vitamin C is actually very very important for sort of protecting your skin against the environmental damage it's also really great for smoothing any kind of fine lines obviously it's not gonna be like like a huge difference it's not uh, a Botox or anything like that but it's gonna over time by using the serum you'll definitely see a mild difference so I absolutely love how this works on my skin so I would definitely recommend it and the great thing about of course this beauty product is that it's not tested on animals it's non GMO it doesn't have any synthetic uh, colors or fragrance so very very good product I would definitely recommend it all right so I have two books that are my favorites and these are sort of baby books because right now 
now. Obviously, I'm going through this phase of my life where I have a child that I'm bringing up and there's so many new things and milestones that Alexa are going through and I really want to be prepared and know how to better handle every situation that I sort of don't pass any of my issues onto her. So for that reason, I've been doing a lot of research and reading books and two that I absolutely love and would recommend to anyone who has a baby or doesn't have a baby, I'll explain in a minute, is No Bad Kids and the second book is called Self-Confident Baby and I'm gonna link the authors and everything I'm gonna mention in this video down below. So if you wanna know the details, then just check the description box. But basically, both of these books are so great because they help me understand more of my natural parenting style or just my relationship style. And that's the reason why I would recommend these books to anybody, not just those people who have kids or want to have kids in the future. Because I believe the way we treat children or our kids is the way we should treat everybody with respect and with love and with a lot of uh, care and attention. And I think a lot of lessons in these books, both of these books, are applicable to any relationship. And I'm just going to give a couple of small little examples. For example, one thing that I always knew when I would have Alexa is that I would do my best to avoid saying to her, no, don't do this, don't touch that. Because I remember being a kid, that's what I've been told a lot. And I really resented that. And I actually wanted to do the opposite of what my parents or elderly people in my life would tell me not to do. I knew that I want to avoid it, but I didn't know how else to rephrase myself to basically still explain the same point where you do not want your child to do something that is potentially dangerous. So in this book, the first book, which is called No Bad Kids, she says that when you're talking to the children, and again, this applies to any relationship. So instead of saying, no, don't do this, don't touch this, can't do this, what you can say is I. So you take the responsibility for what you're trying to get them to do and you say, I can't let you touch this because this is dangerous or I can't let you hit me because this hurts. So that's just one of the tips in the first book that's No Bad Kids. It's a very short book. I'm doing both of them on Audible. I finished the No Bad Kids and I'm going through the Self-Confident Baby. Again, a really awesome book. And what I really loved about the Self-Confident Baby book, it talks about how the author of the book, she talks about how she wants to put all the psychiatrists out of business because she says that most issues that we have as adults come from our childhoods. So as parents, if we do our best to parent consciously, we can help our kids avoid a lot of suffering in the future. I personally know that a lot of my issues that I'm dealing with now do come from childhoods. That's why, again, I'm just like doing my best to surround myself with lots of positive information and books that give me guidance towards that. And again, Self-Confident Baby goes into a lot more information on how to parent different case scenarios. But what I really love about Self-Confident Baby is just the whole philosophy of believing that a child is not just a baby who doesn't know anything. It's about allowing your child to have freedom. It's about respecting them as an equal, talking to them like an adult, not like a baby. And so many other things. I'm just trying to remember it off the top of my mind, but truly there's just so many wonderful messages in this book that are applicable to any relationship. So highly recommend for all of you to read both of these books. So the ones of you who follow me on Instagram know that I've been working out a little more lately. I'm doing my best. I'm trying to get back in shape after I had Alexa. And I bought a few things for working out because, you know, it's a bit more motivational when you have really nice workout outfit. At least I find that it works for me better. I'm like, hey, I'm going to put those pants on. Kind of makes me feel good. So I got these really amazing pants. I was looking for something that sort of pulls everything together but doesn't feel too thick and heavy. And I found these uh, Lululemon pants. I forget what these are called, but it's sort of like Naked Sensation. Uh, it's their new line. And I was like, that sounds interesting. When I actually put them on, they do feel very, very light on your body. I had Lululemon leggings from like years ago and they feel completely different. They are so thick and they kind of constrain you a little bit as you're working out. Whereas these uh, leggings are super soft, super stretchy. And a lot of you guys actually saw the video of me working out on Instagram. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can do that now. My handle is Mimi Icon. And yeah, so those of you who saw me working out in those videos asked me where the leggings are from. I brought these to France because I'm going to be working out, but I have these in black and gray. And again, they're super, super soft, super stretchy. Definitely would recommend for working out or just, you know, doing any kind of physical activity. The black one doesn't have this really nice pocket at the front, but the gray one does where you can put your phone, which is actually really good because when I go for a run, I sometimes I have my keys with me or a phone 
phone and I sort of slide it in. So the gray one has this really nice hidden pocket, but the black one doesn't, but still absolutely love these leggings. So if you're looking for leggings for your workouts, check these out. All right, guys, next favorite of the month is something I'm super excited to talk to you about because these are my new Luxi Hair extensions. As you guys know, Alex and I and my sister Layla, we created Luxi Hair probably more than seven years now. And we almost never launch new products unless we're absolutely in love with the product that we're launching because we believe it's transformational, sensational, something that's revolutionary. And that's why we launched a new Luxi set, which is called the Seamless Set. The reason it's truly life-changing when it comes to hair extensions is because I'm gonna show you why so I wear first I'm gonna just explain I wear the ombre blonde set these have been trimmed a little bit just to kind of better fit into my hair and better work in my hair so it looks even more natural than it is you don't have to actually trim your hair clip and hair extensions I almost never did I once got them trimmed on a photo shoot and I realized it does look a lot better so I started doing this now anyways so going back to the seamless set because this is what these are called so the reason it's seamless and I'm just gonna show you the base of the set really close and you will see that before previously um, the original Luxi sets they have a fabric base which is great you barely feel it but these are just a level up because of the way they have been made the base is so so thin that you literally almost don't feel it in your hair it's just much lighter on your head and then when you pull all the wefts up into a ponytail you can barely see or feel anything so absolutely game changing when it comes to clip and hair extensions i absolutely love these if you're looking for clip and hair extensions you know where to find these all right just a couple more fashion favorites what i have here and i'm featuring this because a lot of you ask me on my instagram where this bag is from and i realized it is my favorite now because i've been wearing wearing it literally every single day since i got it and this was a little gift i gave to myself because sometimes i do that you know i appreciate myself so i give myself a little gift and this is a stella mccartney bag from her new collection you guys know I don't wear real leather and Stella McCartney is the only designer that doesn't produce real leather handbags when it comes to more high-end luxury handbags and yeah absolutely love this bag it looks like real leather obviously it's not it's tiny but it's actually quite roomy okay let's see what I have inside honestly I didn't prepare for this video so you will see I have a tissue paper but you guys know I have a baby so these are important when you have a baby so it's big enough to basically fit something like a phone I don't have my phone here but I could fit it I can show you so I usually have a phone I'll just put the cards in a different compartment and then I have my sunglasses I have some little things like keys Alexa sunglasses and things like that what I'm trying to say is that it's actually quite roomy for a small bag I really love the gold details at the front and the gold chain and the color is absolutely gorgeous sort of coldest color baby poo <laughs> the color that goes with everything in your wardrobe absolutely love this purchase and wear this every single day all right, and last but not least is this dress that I'm wearing. And this is a Tula Rosa dress. I absolutely love the brand Tula Rosa because she has the most beautiful summer dresses, relaxed but feminine. And this one in particular has really gorgeous bell sleeves. I think that's what these are called. And off shoulders, of course, because I love off shoulders. And it's also denim. And I love denim in any shape or form. So especially if it's a dress, then it's always a winner for me. So absolutely love how it fits. It's very, very feminine and light, so it works perfectly for nice, warm summer evenings. All right, my beautiful friends, that's all I have for you today. Now it's your turn. Let me know what are your favorites of the month of June. I'd love to hear from you, so leave me a comment down below. If you love watching my favorites and you'd like to see more, give this video a big thumbs up. I love reading your comments, and I appreciate all your support and feedback. I love you guys.